Hello everyone, John Frausto with Topspin Tennis. In this video, I'm going to give you several tips on how to improve your slice backhand. Enjoy the video. Have Andy Murray. Video was shot at 240 frames per second, so there's a lot of details here. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, that notification bell. Please share the video with your friends, family, parents, put it on your website. There's a lot of details here, and I think they can really help a lot of people. So, all right, so the ball is bounced. He's receiving the ball. He does a nice job of setting up this left side of his body. He is in a continental grip with the right hand, and notice how that left hand is still on that racket. So you'll, you'll be surprised how long he holds on to this racket. All right, so he sets that left side. Notice how his weight's starting to go forward. Does a nice job of doing that. Racket head is vertical here. It is above the handle and the hand. So he does a nice job of setting that left side. All good here, but I'll show you where the magic move is. It's really right here. Notice how the racket head was vertical, but by staying relaxed and then being able to pull that hand and that butt cap forward, notice how his racket head lags and lays back. So look at that racket head. See how it's facing the sky? So by staying relaxed, pulling that butt cap and that hand forward, so let's go to this position here. See how he shows that butt cap? He's showing that butt cap to the ball here. That's a signature position. That's something you want to do. I, when I'm teaching the slice backhand, I really tell players to, or the one hand backhand topspin, to show that cap to the ball and then you're going to almost pull that hand and that butt cap towards the ball and that's where you get that leg. Notice how he lags here, goes to the ball and those strings are facing the sky. It's almost like he's got drinks on a platter here. See that racket face? Notice how it's pointing to the sky. A lot of beginners and intermediate players struggle getting into this position. So you got to really trust this. You got to stay loose let that racket head drag and by being in a continental grip those strings will face to the sky now watch here he's really on a level swing path I mean here's the ball and look at his racket head and basically he's just gonna pull through that gap it's basically a level swing path here I mean it is slightly high to low here that's another challenge with a lot of beginners and intermediates. They're chopping too much at the ball. They're chopping down at the ball. And what you want to do is kind of level it out a little bit. The way he gets the ball to rise is when he makes contact out in front and off that front foot, his racket strings are slightly open. And by keeping them slightly open, watch where the ball goes. See how it gets, it lifts. So he pulls down the ball lifts. So slightly open. Sometimes we get too much of the bottom of the ball. We get we cut too much of the bottom of the ball and then the ball ends up popping up. So the magic move here really is to relax, let that racket head lag a little bit. It's okay to keep those strings. This is technically a open racket face right now, but that face should naturally square up. Now, this takes a lot of reps. I say it's a simple tip. Uh, it looks easy, right? Because this is at 240 frames per second. But this is going to take time to work on. But the key checkpoint here, or the magic move, is to understand that your face will be completely open in this position. And then as you find that ball, it closes up naturally. And a lot of times, too, when we're slicing and we're early, we're actually early, we close the face too much, that ball will go right into the net. So you really, it's a timing thing, it's a lot of reps, it's a lot of practice to get that ball. So the racket head, he finds it. Notice how his finish, he pulls down and across. There's not a lot of extension here. That's another myth, is that we got to hit through that ball. Murray actually goes to the ball. The technique is so good that he pulls down and across. And then here's the other thing that I love about Notice how he keeps his chin and his nose on that contact point. He's not watching where that ball goes. By feel and tons of reps, he knows that that ball is going to be going over. I hope that helps. Thank you so much for your support. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, that notification bell as well. 
Have a great day, everybody.